Hey guys, very well, welcome back once again. Now in our last episode, we promised you we'd be bringing you inks, and today that's what the episode is all about. One of our most popular requests this is, so we're gonna share with you the details on how to produce these inks, and how to bottle them up into your storage, and then how to make all the different combinations as well. No need to jump into our sandbox building today, we're gonna to be doing this all in our factories. So let's get straight into our basic building here and show you the primary inks that are currently available. So. As you can see here, we've set up a nice simple demonstration here. So as you can see, we've got five synthesizers set up here, all with different materials, and these are being crushed into the powders before being introduced into these open pipes by the fast grabbers. And we're also importing some heavy oil from these importers, and we're just simply using an extractor to separate the heavy oil from the steel barrel and put it back into the pipes. Now there's currently five primary, or if you like, tier one colors you can make, and these are from the following materials. You've got iron ore, which as you can see down here, makes a blue summer sky paint. We've got the carbon, which is making the carbon black color. We've got the red mercury being made from the imported mercury here. Our sulfur is creating the Casablanca color. And finally, titanium is creating this titanium white color now from these five colors is how you're going to generate all the different colors in the game I'm going to show you exactly how to do this as well so if we come out of this factory jump in to another one of our factories here so we've come up with a nice design here guys just to show you with simplicity how to introduce these inks and how to mix them to get different color combinations now if we start on this right hand side here we can see we're importing our heavy oil steel barrels here they're going to be emptied by the extractors into the pipes once again and we've got the iron ore and sulfur being generated into powders by the crushers and then inputted into these open pipes by the fast grabbers so if we turn this on we can see straight away that these colors are starting to be introduced we can see we've got the casablanca color from the sulfur powder and also the summer sky color from the iron we've got those two colors feeding directly into the chemical mixer and that is going to produce the green color blue and yellow make green we can see we've got that coming out of the pipe here this hippie green color and in order to bottle that up all you need to do is have some glass bottles straight into the applier and export like so so it isn't hugely complex once you get your head around the process, guys. Now we'd actually call this hippie green color a tier two color. We're using two tier one colors, mixing them together to make this tier two color. But you can actually take this a few more steps further into tier three and even tier four colors. So how do we make those tier three or tier four colors? As you can see, we've got a couple more synthesizers set up here, top and bottom. If we take out that pipe here and pipe down first of all into this bottom chemical mixer we can see we've got titanium set up here already we're going to do exactly the same process but add another chemical mixer into this and all that's going to happen is the green that we're currently producing in this first chemical mixer is going to be piped around into this second chemical mixer here and the hippie green titanium white are again mixing together to create this lighter shade of green this mantis green as it's called and you can start to see how adding more colors to your already generated colors can generate different shades or completely new colors depending on those that are mixed. We can do this with the top synthesizer here as well. We've got some carbon black, so we're adding black to the hippie green production. We're mixing that together once again. And as you can see, we've generated another new color here, pine green, slightly darker shade due to the black that's been introduced. Now, if we turn this off for a second and go to this screen here, we can see now there are a total of 32 different colors in the game at the moment. And the guys over at the Sandship Discord have very nicely put together this lovely table of all the different colors that are available and how to make them. Now, I'll leave a link to this in the description below so you can have a look for yourselves. However, we can start to see all the different shades that you can create from these five base colors. Now this is a really handy guide if you're looking to try and create a specific color and you just quite can't get the combination right. Have a look at this and it should guide you in showing you exactly how to make them. We hope this little demonstration has helped you to better understand the ink making process and all those different color combinations as well. In our next video, we're gonna be showing you exactly how to apply these onto the plastic tiles to create your own printed designs. So stay tuned for that. So until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.